Hey there, this is Amar and welcome to the world of scholarship and opportunities across the world in, in South Korea. Today I will cover global intern program and I will only focus on two things. One is how to uh, uh, the overview of the of this intern program and then I will show you one-on-one uh, -on, -one on how to apply online till the submission. So don't leave... <laughs> Stay till the end of this video because you will be able to see how to apply online and you can start applying because the application has already been open today. Today is the, mm, their first day. So yeah, let's begin. Uh, here is the eligibility for applicant. You should be international undergraduate seniors or master's degree student. You should have a GPA of three and above in a scale of 4.5. And these are the benefit. Once you you will get this uh, internship, you will experience, you will benefit from it in terms of uh, gaining knowledge, Korean culture, cultural difference, the uh, cultural experiences in South Korea. You also receive dormitory accommodation during your internship. They will provide you with monthly stipend. You know, half of the airfare will be covered round trip. And it's a good thing to explore as as young as you now. Uh, you can see these are the research uh, laboratory. I will I'll let you just re check as I go by. Remember, you can um, you can click on the link to learn more about the laboratory. And I know from that you will have you will have more information regarding to which lab is suitable for you so don't just stop from Yeah, so this is how you can apply. There's a website there. And before we apply, let's see what the document contains because I don't want to leave anything hanging. Uh, here is, they are just reminding you, make sure before you apply, you meet the criteria needed. That is, you should be a master's or a senior undergraduate and make sure you also... Uh, in uh, input your full names like put things in a right just put the right thing at the right uh, at the right place they needed it okay and this is during the GIP program there will be eight week laboratory internship that is they are outlining you on the activities that will take place during that uh, time you will be able to submit a draft of your research uh, poster for uh, poster session and you will also be able to attend Korean classes two hours uh, Monday to Friday you will have a special lectures uh, on GIST international organizer will be provided once a week this is a good opportunity you know you can do this internship and later you may also get a master's or PhD in this uh, GIST university as you can see how people are mm, interchanging the culture with other with the different uh, internationals and it's a good thing you you need to come and enjoy uh, yeah so back to the application link we click on that part and of course you know you have to translate it and uh, we click on our uh, intern global intern program apply here we click on the application this will return us to the 
the same program there's program overview this applying to gip there's f and a questions yeah uh, the program overview is still the same make sure you the eligibility still remain the same english proficiency you can submit but if you have been taught with english in your university you just need to show a letter than uh, that have been taught with english throughout my years in university and another thing is gip research fields we, i have already shown you uh, previously on those labs so make sure you do a thorough research what they do with the offer is half of round trip airfare dormitory accommodation korean language class cultural exchange i think i was scrolling very fast this is 2024 global intern those have been selected last year and you can see they are happy they enjoyed their time they'll also give you stipend and cultural experiences if you have any question, you know there's email there, you can reach out to them and ask for more clarification. If I'm not able to help you, you know, they are there for you. Now, because we have reviewed everything and we are aware with what we are supposed to do, now we go to application area. This is where I will spend the remaining minutes with you guys and see what is happening. Let's go through this branch of the exam. Okay, now we start on the uh, online application. I grab something as we start. Uh, as you can see, I haven't signed up, so I have to sign up now and start the application. So that is the place I am now. I'm signing up to start the online application. Input your name. Make sure you input the correct name matching with your birth certificate or passport if you have it uh then i was just you know it's my thing i usually um go through the entire thing to see what it, if i have all the information needed then i start applying yeah so guys this is the sign up page and i know now you are familiar with application things and it will not be a uh, difficult for you for those who join me to apply uh, previous applications you have seen how to apply online so i decided now let me start applying okay these are the names you usually see them and uh, <laughs> i was thinking should i put my name or i should uh, so i decided not to put my name <laughs> okay yeah so you can see how the sign up look like and uh, date of birth, uh, I, I just put date of birth with respect to you guys. I know you are at this uh, particular age, maybe, let's say, below 2010. Mm -hmm. Twenty ten or maybe two two zero three yeah, around there. I don't know. Or two zero five. So, of course, marital status, you are single, you are still a young person. Uh, telephone, make sure you input your, your real telephone number and uh, select nationality there. Make sure you check if your nationality is there. Uh, because I see there are not all of them. Seems there are selected nationalities. Yeah, you can just search or you can just scroll the way I'm doing here. Yeah. Just hang in there, we complete this one. Zip code, I was not aware of zip code. Make sure you put a right zip code for your country. 
I wanted to input the zip code for Korea, but anyway, make sure you input the right zip code for your country. Make sure you are aware of your address. Uh, yeah, I wanted to trim this part, but anyway, make sure you source it well. Mm -hmm. And the comprehensive address, that one. Um, but you can write anything they don't care much on address area or the one you wrote on your birth certificate or uh, passport <laughs> so I'm here which department oh I thought like I just I had just written like that and there's a there's a scroll arrow there so you should scroll there and see that's why i remember there's a scroll arrow there okay and i'm interested with quantum make sure you know which department you are interested in part two i don't have any part two i only you can choose another uh, part if you wish uh, department of your choice maybe you wanted the physics physics fine if you wanted engineering you can just put it there and now they are i'm inputting the professor's lab make sure you have gone and check what they are doing there and i would like to do i'm very interested uh, if i get a chance of finishing internship and get application at gist very interested so this is the email if you want to reach me out you can reach me out through that email is basically for uh youtube community in connecting global <laughs> in connecting uh scholarship and opportunity you can reach me out through that email and let's interact more there uh there is a pass password of told you guys sub, sub, <laughs> subscribe so it's easier to log in with my details because you already know them and you say sus, subscribe yeah okay i'm done okay policy i didn't check on policy make sure you also check on those policy and tick instead of ticking it seems you just put check here yeah, and save once you save he did a magic and I'm already on <laughs> application area. You see they have already saved all that information. Make sure you upload a picture there. And once you finish, there's a save icon there. So save on that icon and... document is requesting you to do uh, like here you are told to fill out your university uh, this one will basically apply be applied to those third year or for the student and uh, but not applicable to those have to those who haven't joined university okay and we also have a section for school a uh, subject of graduation thesis uh, i think for now uh, you have a subject to your graduation. This is an opportunity. You can even think now if you have, a, you can think of subject now and fill out here. I'm just giving you an example. Uh, and yeah, you attach small abstract. Nowadays, things are there to help you. Chat GBT, another AI uh, form, uh, form of helping you. So just put it there. And the chat GBT or hair you, you are familiar with will help you and uh, put that attachment there. The other thing is English uh, proficiency uh, is straightforward. If your university taught you in English, you don't need to worry. Just give out the right information regarding 
which is your native language and all that mm -hmm. and uh, how did you hear about this gist from internet from students yeah just write how you heard about it recommendation fill out the recommendation with respect to your department ask your supervisors your chairman your dean of department to write you a recommend to you you are like you are applying for this um internship they will be notified so prepare your recommender so that they know uh what the is awaiting for them mm -hmm. and i was showing you how you keep saving you continue keep saving you continue the other part is now where you write and write and write stories so here i'm calling them story because you write a lot of things here and uh, the good thing i've directed you what to do on that writings there yeah in case you want us to review your work and you can share your work through email as i've provided word scholarship45 at gmail.com i'll go through it and tell you if it's you have written something realistic or there's some changes you can and just to it yeah and through that i think you will learn something from application different application you are learning even if you don't get this uh, opportunity just know you are learning something and you are equipping yourself to be better and better as you as you know our squash uh, this channel is to motivate you and encourage you everything is possible you can learn to do this uh, scholarship if you prepare everything well don't forge every, anything just be true to what you're submitting and i'm sure and i pray for you will get one day and see you in south korea this marked the end of my video i hope you have gained something from the start till now and let's interact in the comment section share with your friends who are really in need to expand their knowledge uh like and uh, it will be a good growth yeah, bye for now and see you on other scholarship.